Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets. I really appreciate your time. You know, I do all these updates on Second Amendment attacks that are happening throughout our country. But I thought it was time for me to basically tell everybody how to squash every attempt at a gun grab in every single state. See, we all know that there's a thing called the United States Constitution, okay? And I have been contemplating making this video for quite some time because if you know the Constitution, then you know that what's going on around the country really can't be enforced, but it could all lead to a very liberal-leaning Supreme Court, and that's where our problem's going to be. See, there's, there's a section in the, in the Constitution, if you don't know the Constitution, it's a really short read, uh, realistically, for how important the document is. And I know a lot of people think that it could be boring, but I would, uh, I would urge you, that it is in your best interest to know this document in and out. It's very easy to read. I mean, it's in Old English, but it's easy to understand. There's free apps on your phone. There's free books in iBooks and in the Google Bookstore. It's free. So, like, if you're in the bathroom taking care of your business and you're going to be in there for 15 minutes, read the Constitution for 5 or 10 minutes. It'll, it'll empower you when you learn how much power you have, we the people, how much power we have. So, Article 6 of the United States Constitution is called the Supremacy Clause, okay? And... It's, it's broken down, there's three different paragraphs, and, and if you don't know how the Constitution works, each paragraph is like its own law. It's, it's setting up its own law, basically, is how it works. Uh, and it's not 100% that way, but that's a good generalization for you if you're new to this. But Article 6, Paragraph 2 of the Supremacy Clause is, is what squashes gun grabs, it's what squashes gun control grabs, it's what squashes unconstitutional laws that are being passed, and they're being passed all over the frickin' country right now. So I'm going to read it word for word. I mean, I have a, I know it, but I don't want to screw up the wording. There'll be links in the description too, so if you want to educate yourself on this, I would, uh, it would behoove you to do it, because it only helps you and your family. So I'll read the Supremacy Clause word for word, just so I don't screw it up because I'm on camera and I'm, I'm getting nervous because I'm going to have to recite something. But I'm going to read it word for word, okay? This Constitution and the laws of the United States, which shall be made in pursuance thereof, and all treaties made, or which shall be made under the authority of the United States, shall be the supreme law of the land, and the judges in every state shall be bound thereby. Anything in the Constitution or laws of any state to the contrary, notwithstanding. So, yeah, it's legalese, it's old English. Uh, it's very easy to break down, though. So we'll go over it real quick. I hope you got time. Don't click off of this. This is huge stuff. If you don't know it, I mean, this is huge stuff. It's been around for a long time, but a lot of people don't know it. And this is how I win a majority of my friendly disagreements with liberals that I know or anti-gun people, okay? This is it right here. I mean, we all say, yeah, Second Amendment, Second Amendment, but this is what makes the Second Amendment rule, period. So it says, this Constitution, which you know what that is, and the laws of the United States, which shall be made in pursuance thereof. So what that says is the pursuance thereof part. It means the laws that are being made to carry out the Constitution, basically your constitutional laws. So if a state like Massachusetts, the Attorney General, starts to twist any type of law that benefits her and her agenda or her political uh, need to gain prominence to get a federal job. Uh, this is what squashes and, and nips that in the bud. Her reinterpretation wasn't in pursuance of the Constitution. Uh, gun control and taking uh, the evil black rifles or ARs away from everybody because they, are, they look scary and they have adjustable stocks and they must be like evil, evil things. Well, those rules, those laws, sometimes they're passed into laws, those bills, are not made in pursuance of the Constitution, okay? They're, in, they're, in, they're made in defiance of the Constitution. That alone, in the Supremacy Clause, tells you the federal law supersedes it. Moving on, uh, all treaties made or which shall be made under the authority of the United States. What that means is any treaties that were made back in the day, any treaties that will be made... 10, 15, 20 years from now, have to all fall in uh, agreement with the Constitution. Otherwise, they're deemed illegal. Next part is the kick in the ass for the judges. Judges in every state shall be bound thereby. Means you have to follow the Constitution. Whether you are appointed by a liberal or appointed by a conservative or somehow you lied to both and you really have your own agenda, which does happen. You still have to follow the Constitution. 
amazing how this document works. It's almost like the people who wrote this came from an area where there was a monarchy, a ruler. Hmm. Go figure. And then it further, the next sentence, the next part of the sentence says, uh, anything in the Constitution or laws of any state to the contrary notwithstanding. So that means if your rules, bills, laws, um, reinterpretations, uh, political ideologies, if they're uh, contrary to the Constitution, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The Supremacy Clause was made basically to keep the states in check. Now, if you read the Constitution, and if you read all the, the uh, federal documents that set up this land and how our rules are made, um, this is nothing new to you. In fact, you know, like I do, that there's even more things in the Supremacy Clause that further regulate how everything is. But basically it says that the states have their own laws, but the federal law is the supreme law of the land. So if there is uh, a state law that is in violation of a federal law or, or some type of uh, judicial disagreement, they don't quite match, they don't, uh, they're not in sync with each other, well then the federal law is the one that takes precedence and the judges have to abide by it. Know your stuff, people. It will save your butt. Trust me. Now, the third paragraph of the Supremacy Clause, which will be another video, forces basically anybody for any political office in any federal job or state job has to take the oath to support and defend the Constitution. So remember your oath, folks, because a lot of you don't abide by it. So that was a real quick video to get some people up to speed because when I get... It's like I throw out the Supremacy Clause when I get pissed, when I'm just sick of hearing the noise and nine times out of ten the person or the anti-gun person who's just has to tell me their point of views their feelings and their fluffy ideas for the world when i throw this out they don't even know what the hell it is so educate yourselves folks educate your friends read the document i'll have links in the description where you can get a free one a free copy of the, of the constitution you know it's a free app on any phone android or iphone and probably even that piece of crap windows phone uh, there's free books if you'd rather, rather read the, you know, the book form on the uh, iBook store and the, uh, the Google book store. The, they're everywhere. It's the law of the land. You should know it. It gives you the, uh, the knowledge of the rights that you have and what rights the states have to tell you what you can and cannot do. It's a very powerful document, guys. Take 10, 15 minutes a day and read it. So that is how you smash the hopes and dreams of a gun grabber. Real quick and easy, the Supremacy Clause, Article 6 of the United States Constitution, direct into Paragraph 2, because they're not even going to know where to find this stuff. This is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. I appreciate your time. I really do. This means a lot to me, this channel taking off, and, and I owe it to you. Without you guys, I'm just some clown wearing some pretty cool shirts, looking at a camera that it cost a lot of money. <laughs> so thanks a lot. So until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Take care, guys.